Welcome to this video in which we will learn how to make this shaft and the keyway in SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin. First of all, open a new file. I am opening a part file and then click OK. Here we have to select a plane. So I prefer to select front plane in this case. So select front plane and click on sketch. Then select a circle and make a circle at this origin then select smart dimensioning tool select the circumference and specify the diameter as 25 the unit is millimeter you can see here mmgs and then go to features and what we have to do we have to select this extruded boss piece so we have to specify the length of this piece of the shaft so you can spy uh, specify the length of the shaft from here i am specifying 35 millimeter then click ok just to change the background to plain white and now you can select this side or this side it's up to you click on sketch button then select a circle and make a circle at this origin make sure you select the origin select the smart dimension and specify the diameter as uh, I'm specifying 35 it's a little bit bigger circle than the previous one then go to feature select extruded boss base and here I have to specify the length of this piece of the shaft so this is uh, 10 millimeter so far we have created this much shaft similarly um, select the face click on sketch and make a circle here and specify the diameter of the shaft as 25 millimeter then similarly we are going to extrude it and here uh, you can increase the length of the piece from here as well so i am specifying the length of this piece as uh, 45 uh, but let's specify as 50 okay so now select this face click on sketch button select the circle and make the circle at this origin again i'm saying that make sure to make the circle at the origin so specify the diameter as 20 go to features select extruded boss base again and here we need to specify the length of this final piece so this is 40 millimeter okay that's it okay so now it's time to make some chamfers so here we have chamfer option so click on the chamfer and select these edges and because these are sharp edges we have to make them smooth uh, i'm making one mm chamfer here as you can see select these corners we use uh, these chamfers in order to smooth the edges click ok and chamfer has been applied and now it's time to make the keyway so how we can make it um, you can select this top plane or right plane i am selecting this right plane then click on sketch so i am making a sketch on the right plane what we have to do is select this straight slot and here we need to find the center line here you can see the dotted line let me show you again this is the dotted line click here and you can see the yellow colored relation this means this is a straight line so click here and then expand it now we have to select the smart dimensioning tool and specify uh, the dimensions from corner to this point let's specify the distance as 5 you can specify any distance here it's up to your application then specify this length uh, let's specify as uh, 20 mm, I think 20 is better so let's make it as 20 you can edit these dimensions like this and then uh, on the last thing is the distance between these two lines or points I am specifying as 5 okay and now go to features and select this extruded cut 
now we are going to cut it so how we can do this okay so first we have to drop down this menu and select this surface face and uh, in this very window select this face or outer circumference of the shaft okay and here you have to specify the depth of the keyway i am specifying as five millimeter and one thing you need to make sure about is the direction of this cut should be downward like this you can see this arrow now this is upward and now this is downward just uh, click the enter button or check the box and here we have the keyway so the other thing you can do is uh, specify the material so i'm specifying the steel so if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you